<laughs> Praise the Lord. Got your knock on head here, a.k.a. Brother Junior. Brother and sister, we turn our Bibles to Galatians chapter 3. And we were looking at verses 13 to 14. And it reads, Christ hath redeemed us from the curse of the law, being made a curse for us. For it is written, Cursed is every one that hangeth on a tree, that the blessing of Abraham might come on the Gentiles through Jesus Christ, that we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading, to the hearing, to the admonition, to the to the distribution of this great word, taken from the greatest book that man could ever possess. And my brother, is God's word. We give God all the honor, all the glory, all the praise in the precious name of his son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord, amen. <laughs> <laughs> Praise the Lord. Brothers and sisters, we see in uh, the, the Galatians chapter 3, the Apostle Paul mentions, uh, just one moment, everyone. I'm going to do a broken U turn. I don't like broken U turns. <laughs> I gotta do a broken U-turn. I, I, I can't do a U-E. I do a broken U-turn. Praise the Lord! <laughs> Praise the Lord! Uh. Praise the Lord! <laughs> Praise the Lord! Now, where were we? Yeah, in, in Galatians chapter 3, we see that the Apostle Paul write uh, how Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law. And the curse of the law is when, when, when the, the disobedience that's done uh, 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 by not keeping the law and the consequence uh, 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 of breaking the law is the curse. And, and, and Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law, the consequences of breaking the law. We've been redeemed. For, uh, 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 watch this. Because uh, 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 and, and Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law, by, by, for it's written, curse is everyone that hangs on the tree. So our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ took the curse. And watch this. It follows up to say, that the blessings of Abraham could come to the, the, those who believe in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ by faith. Praise the Lord! Then we see uh, he closes this great truth of the th uh, of the third chapter of the book of Galatians. He he closes it with this with this powerful principle and this established truth: If you be in Christ. You are Abraham's seed. And remember, the blessings of Abraham comes on, on, on the believer. And if you be Christ, you are Abraham's seed. Heirs according to the promise. And so you, you, you're an heir. You have an inheritance. Now listen, when it comes to being an heir, or when it comes to having an inheritance, it ain't about what uh, the, the believer does. It's about who the believer is and who he is in Christ Jesus. God, Woo! Let me preach that again. Praise the name of his son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We hear that Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law. He took the curse and, 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 and so that the blessing of Abraham could be on the believer by believing our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And he closes this great truth by saying, if you be Christ, you are Abraham's seed, and you are heirs according to this promise. And that heir, and you have that inheritance. It's not about what you do. It's about who you are in Jesus Christ, praise God. Now let's back that truth up with scriptures, with God's word. Praise the name of his son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. In the book of Romans, chapter 4, the apostle Paul, a gospel grace preacher, he, he mentions in the 13th chapter, for this promise, 
And this promise is, 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 is when, when you're heir of, of this promise. When, you are, when you're in Christ, you're Abraham's seed. And he says this in Romans chapter 4, verse 13. Praise the name of his Son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. For this promise that you be heirs of the world. It didn't come to Abraham or his seed. And, and, and where Abraham's seed? If you're, if you're in Christ. Uh, this, heir, uh, this heir of promise did not come to Abraham or his seed. Through, through the law. Through what you do. No. This came through the righteousness of faith. When you believe on our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, the blessings of Abraham come on you. It ain't about what you do. It's about who you are, Christ Jesus. And that inheritance is yours. You are heir. You know, in, in Romans chapter 8, verse 17, the apostle Paul put it this way. You are heir of God. You are joint heir with his son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. It says you are joint heir with Christ Jesus. And, and, and that Christ Jesus, when you see that term Christ Jesus, that refers to the resurrected Lord and Savior, soon to come King Jesus Christ, who's sitting on the right hand of the Father. When Jesus Christ was referred to as Jesus Christ, that was his earthly ministry. But when you were, uh, when you were heir, a joint heir with Christ Jesus, you are joint heir with the resurrected, the sitting on the throne of Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, praise God. And if you be Christ, you are an heir. You are Abraham's seed, and you are heir according to his promises. In this year of 2021, 2021 believer in Christ in spirit, where the apostle Paul said in Galatians chapter 2, verse 20 and 21, I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live, yet not I. Christ lives in me, and the life that I live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God who loves me and gave his life for me. Therefore, I do not frustrate the grace of God. I declare that I am a, I, I am Christ. I am an Abraham's seed. I'm an heir according to his promises, not by righteousness of the law, but righteousness by believing on the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Because if righteousness came by the law, then Christ died in vain. And we know that Christ didn't die in vain because when we believe on our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, we are we have the blessings of Abraham. We're blessed as the same way that Abraham's blessed because we're in Christ. We're Christ. We're Abraham's seed and we're heirs. We have the inheritance to the promises of what our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, has available to us. And one of those promises, the blessings of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord! May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord's face shine upon you. May the Lord lift up his conscience to you. May the Lord give you his peace. And I command you all to God and in the word of his grace, which is able to build you up an inheritance to those who are sanctified in the precious name of his Son, our Lord, Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. And unto him that is able to keep you from fall, present you for us in the presence of his glory, both glory, mercy, dominion, power, both now and forevermore. Praise the name of his Son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. <laughs> God bless <laughs> Agape love You are Christ If you are in Christ You are Abraham's seed And the heirs according to the promises All the blessings All the anointings All the favor All the grace Is yours And it's you Because it's your inheritance And you are heirs Of Christ Jesus And heirs Of, of our Abba Father <laughs> God bless Agape love <laughs>